Yeah, actually I left South Sudan, it was 2005. And the reason is whereby one day we were attacked by the government troop from Sudan. And luckily we managed to escape with my mother and my sibling brother and sisters. Uh, we spent three days in the bush whereby we were eating fruits and leaves. Some of them that were poisonous for us. Uh, after three days, uh, we went back to the village and we find everything was abandoned by the government. And so my mother, she decided to go to Ethiopia because we are near to Ethiopia. Uh, because the situation in the bush was so bad for my sibling, brother and sister. So she decided to go back to, uh, to, to Ethiopia. And then when we go back with my neighbors, we find everything was burned down by the government troop and they take everything that was belong to us. So likely I was rescued by UN, United Nations workers, whereby they, I was brought from South Sudan to Kakumara. I started running in 2015. Uh, for the entire of my life, I've been playing football since I was 10 years old. So in 2015, I was about to finish my high school. So one day it happened whereby people that were talking about there will be a running happening in Kakuma Refugee Camp in Kenya, which was organized by UNHCR and Tegla Lorupe Peace Foundation. Uh, so I thought to myself, uh, I can't try because, you know, in football, uh, people they work as a teamwork. Like once you lose the game, you cannot blame yourself. So in the morning I wake up and then I join other people who are running the same race. I participate in 10K. So I managed to become third position in 10K. So that is why I began to become an athlete and say, okay, if I can manage to run 10K and beat other people, why should I not trust myself like running? Because you know, in running it need your determination, your hard working, and everything that we are doing, we must trust in God. So that is why I start. I say, okay, I can believe in myself. I can do whatever from football because it is a teamwork and you cannot blame yourself when you lose the game. So I take the path of running in 2015 when I finished my high school. Yeah, from there, after Kakumba trial, I was brought to Nairobi in Kenya, uh, in Tegla Lorupe Center for the training. So we have been training for the Olympics because we were told, now you have a chance to compete in, in the Olympics because I never had this Olympic, but they told us, if you work hard, you can manage to, to go to Olympic in Brazil uh, 2016. So yeah, I have been training for that six months. And then from there, finally, my name was in the selected list from the International Olympic Committee. And I was so happy because I did not expect that it happened in my life to, to become someone that can represent a refugee in, internationally in competition. Well, I think uh, there was a lot of best memory to be in the Olympics 2016. Uh, but the first one that I can remember very well it is when we were entering Maracana Stadium as a team, because we were the second and uh, last team to enter Maracana Stadium. Uh, you know, in my life, I've been crying because of different reasons. Uh, because of sadness, you lose someone because the situation that, that you are facing, where you come from. But that time I was happy because this is the moment where by now you forgot the past. People they're sharing up like the UNHCRI commissioner, the United Nations Secretary General, the IOC president is standing up for the uh, Refugee Olympics team to be sheer up, you know. This is a moment whereby coming from sad moment uh, to have a happy moment whereby you have a team whereby this is a team that is have different people. 
and other people, million of people, they share because of the Refugee Olympics team. I was crying. That is my second time to cry. And that was my best moment to see other people can share for my, the Refugee Olympics team. Well, after I finished uh, my high school in 2015, I thought that was the end of everything for me. Uh, because, you know, being in Kakuma, being a refugee camp, it was hard, the t situation, both education and both life in general. So when I finished, I say, okay, the only option is to go back to my country and maybe find my family, one of my family, or anyone that I can get from my family. But it did not happen the way I planned to finish my high school and go back to South Sudan because another war happened in South Sudan. And from there, things get worse. So being in Nairobi for the Tegland on Open Peace Foundation, it was another opportunity for me. Uh, it was a motivation, another way of saying there is another opportunity that you can do apart from being in a refugee camp. So I got to be involved in advocacy for the uh, refugees being in Nairobi. Also, I continue with my education and open another way to continue with uh, my education and be the voice for the million of refugees around the world through his voice. This sport is a one way to change the world, according to me. Uh, because I remember, you know, in Kakuma, we have uh, 19 different nationalities who are living in Kakuma refugee camps. And the only way that you can unite those people is through his sport. Uh, people that have been playing together, sharing common idea, ob objective, uh, to do something that can change their life, uh, that can help them to forget what they pass through in their life, traumat uh, traumatized way which they have been passing through, maybe of losing someone. So refugee people, they use this sport to change their life and to involve themselves in this sport. It's a, it's a way of uniting different nationality giving them hope to say, okay, this is a way that we can unite ourselves and make ourselves better. And the young people who are coming up, they know that this is the only way that can change their life because this is a talent and something that they can be proud of because one day, one time, they can make their life through his point. Actually, it is an honor to be part of the Olympic Refuge Foundation, uh, because first of all, it gave me opportunity to be the voice for the million of refugees through his point. Uh, second to that is whereby, you know, that is a hard work to represent million of refugees, but it needs a dedication whereby you can say, this is a call for all of us to say, we can save the humanity. So for me, being the board members, being a refugees, it gave me a, 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 a it is called platform to be the voice for the million of refugees and use my talent to say, okay, we can give our hope for million of refugees who are living in camp. We can change the perspective of life whereby they can know it's what can change their life. So being a board members, it gave me a lot of opportunity as well as I continue with my education it opened a lot of doors for me to be a, a refugee ambassador for them. <laughs>